while COVID-19 hospitalizations in the state are down significantly from the peak, New Jersey's hospitals are still feeling the financial effects months later. According to a report from the New Jersey Hospital Association, the state's healthcare systems are dealing with their worst financial fallout since the late 1990s. During the second quarter, the average operating margin was negative 4%, reflecting the fact that nearly six out of 10 hospitals posted net losses through June. The hospitals faced higher expenses and fewer non-COVID patient visits. Another sector of New Jersey's economy, real estate, continues to do quite well. Typically, home sales cool off when the weather cools down. NJ Realtors President Angela Saccoli doesn't see that happening this year. I don't think that the season is going to take a, any uh, effect on the slowdown of the market. The market is going to continue. We have been busier now than we've ever been uh, in many, many years. In August, pending sales for single-family homes in New Jersey rose more than 35 percent, and the median sales price jumped 17 percent to $410,000. If you want to catch a movie in the theater and not Netflix, you're going to have fewer options. The owner of Regal Cinemas plans to indefinitely close more than 500 theaters across the U.S., including 11 here in New Jersey, due to the financial impact from the coronavirus. In all, 45,000 workers will lose their jobs. Regal is the second largest movie chain in the country behind AMC. Finally, as the recession and high unemployment continue, the economy is clearly weighing on the minds of voters. A new Gallup poll of registered voters finds the economy is the most important issue out of 16 different issues that might impact their choice for president. Turning now to Wall Street, here's a look at the trading day. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. New Jersey American Water, providing water and wastewater services to keep life flowing for more than 190 communities throughout New Jersey. 